Hey everybody. One of the things that probably irritates teachers the most, and this is the whole thing with, with present perfect, is when students have problems with the differences between for and since. What we're going to do in today's video is look at the difference of what those words represent and how those verbs affect verb tenses, especially present perfect simple. If you think of it graphically, it might look like this. If now is at the right of the screen, and we've got two different points, we can either refer to when the action began, the starting point of the action, or we can talk about how long it happened for, the duration of the action. Present perfect, it's worth remembering, is a present tense in English. It connects an event to the past and talks about its relationship to now. This is different from Spanish because in Spanish, plus cuan perfecto technically is a past tense. It doesn't talk about the present. So here's what the difference is. If I'm talking about the start point of an action, when an action began or when a state began to be true, then I use since because since talks about the starting point of the situation. In contrast, for talks about the duration. It talks about how long the thing has been happening for. So remember, that's the difference. Since is when the action began, the starting point of the action, and for talks about how long it has lasted for. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you like the videos, tell all your friends. If you don't like the videos, please tell me. And in the meantime, you are more than welcome to visit the blog, stop-spanglish at blogspot.ca, or if you'd like more information about online courses for Spanish learners of English, www.stopspanglish.com.